Hi, Coach Rosario here at DRS Athletics. This is DRS Strong Blog Week 107 and 108. Okay, so we're bundling together and, wait, don't look at the workout because people are not gonna show up. But anyways, this week we're gonna keep it short and sweet and we're gonna be talking about cool down and what is so important about it. Also, why is it necessary and three things that are actually gonna help you understand why we should do that after class, within the classes, within your training session, anything that's gonna help you perform better. Cool down. Oh, what does it mean when you say, hey you guys, go cool down? Cool down doesn't mean, okay, I sweat a lot and I'm just gonna cool down and shiver or I'm gonna cool down and just stop sweating. Yes, but technically, physiologically, what you wanna be doing is bringing your heart rate down. Is is maybe if you did tons of heavy squats or tons of, you know, maybe you did just front, you just finished front. You wanna get your lungs back into a place of recovery. You wanna get your legs back into recovery. So maybe a couple, you know, a hundred meter little jog would help you into recover that. Or maybe a few 200s on the rower, you know, something that will get you back to a normal state. Why is cool down important? Number one, brings your body back to a normal state. What does that even mean? Well, you've been working very hard, You've been pushing your body to limits that you might not be even know about. So cooling down will bring you back to homeostasis, which is your normal state of where you should be walking, talking, just living. So back to that normal state, which is very important. Two, cool down prepares you for the next training session. The next training session could be either within a couple hours, within an hour, within a couple of days. It doesn't matter, but it will prepare you to what you need to be doing next. Let's say I do weightlifting in the morning and maybe within an hour I have CrossFit. Well, within that hour, if I cool down and I fuel properly, then I'm ready for the next session. But what, what about, about the training session is in six hours or is in within a couple of days? Or maybe you will be going into an airplane and taking a long flight and then you're gonna get in your training session. You have to think about those things because that's how you will get prepare for the next session regardless of time, especially if the duration is back to back or especially if the training session has been very, very taxing for your body. Cool down also gives you and helps with recovery. It brings your central nervous system back to normal state. Number one. So how does the cool down help you in recovery? Well, it, it doesn't really mean that you're not gonna be as sore. Maybe that could help, but that research hasn't really found that is gonna delay soreness. Mainly what's gonna happen is gonna bring your central nervous system, it's such a heightened state, right? So you wanna bring it down to where you can actually be more calm and you can actually rest and recover. Your, your body's not working as hard, your breathing rate is not going as fast, your heart rate is not going as fast, your just mental capacity of thinking and your rate of thinking is just, it's just leveled out. So all that will help you actually sleep at night better and help you actually recover for the next session.